Dunder Mifflin is about to be sold, but first an investment banker has to drop by and sign off on our branch. And I'm pretty nervous about it, and I'm making some cosmetic tweaks to help create a more appealing environment. Is that dishonest? Well, think of it this way. When you look in the mirror and you see your push-up bra and your fake eyelashes and your makeup and your press-on nails, the principles that I'm applying to the office are the same ones that have made Lady Gaga a star or any number of drag queens. Oh yeah, I got a big box, yes I do. I got a big box, how about you? I got a big box, yes I do. I got a big box, how about you? I think you don't know what you're saying. It is from Sabre, our new owner, and it is to Sabre, us. I wonder what's inside. Scissor me. Dunder Mifflin was recently bought by an electronics company named Sabre. They stepped in at the 11th hour and they saved our asses. Although David Wallace said that we were the one branch that was actually working right, so we probably could have saved our own asses. We didn't need them touching our asses. What? Wow, awesome. For accounting, a brand new printer. And for the sales staff, a new fax machine. This cord has Creed written all over it. And whoever would like a brand new scanner can come visit it in my office. Thank you. Here we go. Oh! oh wow! <laughs> cool. What next? <laughs> um, who's Gabe? This note says to put the box aside for a Gabe Lewis who's coming tomorrow. Okay, everybody, listen up. I have some bad news. Due to circumstances beyond my control. Impulsivity and inattention to detail. Hey, hey. I have opened a box which should not have been opened. Terrible mistake. And distributed things which should not have been distributed. Undistributable. Well, maybe we can put the box back together. Impossible. He opened it like an ape. I think we can do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Did we try printer first? Shredder at an angle, yep. fax cable, then the scanner upside down? Yes. Have you tried making everything smaller? And... Wow! Really nice job. This group of people, when they put their minds together, they can do something great. And I think that you should all be proud of yourself. Oh, Michael. All right, relax. We can do it. We just did it. So we can do this again. Aaron, scissor me, please. No, don't. Thank you. Oh, got it. OK. Vancouver Court Hotel, how may I help Hello, you? Hello, Vancouver. This is Michael Scott calling from the United States of America. I have a reservation in your fair city from February 12th to the 19th, first week of the Olympics. Well, we're looking forward to having you. So let me just pull up your information here. Okie doke. Uh, I don't seem to have it, sir. What? I'm not seeing anything under confirmation. No. Could it be under affirmation? Because no. you have thousands of those. No, we're just trying to look it up right now. You did get the evite to my barbecue. Mm, come on. Michael. Um, sir, a lot of people are trying to get last minute reservations at hotels here for the Olympics, but we've been fully booked for months. Well, I have been booked for three years. So you should have that. I have always heard that British Columbia is a very nice place, but I'm not getting that from this conversation. Wait, I got it. Confirmation code, XV2RDM. Uh, oh, here it is. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, thank you. in our Street View Economy single. That's it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we changed systems a while back. I do apologize. Uh-huh, oh, okay. How, how may I help you, Mr. Scott? All right. I would like to cancel my reservation, please. There is a cancellation fee for this, sir. Okay. Put it on my card. I just wanted to check and see if there's anything you needed before I went on my maternity leave. Yeah, I'm pregnant. Great. Well, I'll write up the order. Wait a minute. Okay, thanks. You can't do that. You cannot exploit your baby for sales. Hey, did I tell you we're going to have a baby? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'm excited. Oh, definitely. No, no. You need to come by your sales honorably. There is nothing mm -hmm. dishonorable about talking about your life. People like it. Hey there. Dwight Schrute here. Listen, uh, would you be interested in restocking on paper? Yeah, I could sure use the money. 
my cousin uh, came down with a case of that nasty new goat fungus. Oh, it's just horrific. The doctor says he's never seen it beard so quickly. Okay. I need a baby. I'll never outsell Jim and Pam without one. Also, I've been noticing a gaping hole in my life. Sometimes I wake up cradling a gourd. Hello, hello. Top of the morning to ya. Woohoo! Green M&Ms, nature's Viagra. Two of my favorite joke areas combined. It's gonna be a good day. I don't want to bring my friends. Why can't it just be the two of because us? Because it's St. Patrick's Day, people go out in groups. Well, why don't you invite your friends? Why are you being so weird about Stop this? Stop fighting. Just on St. Patrick's Day, okay? Just one perfect day a year. No hassles, no problems, no kids. Why no kids? Yeah, where are your kids? Nope. Uh-uh. Not today! It is St. Patrick's Day. And here in Scranton, that is a huge deal. It is the closest that the Irish will ever get to Christmas. Hey, Jim, Jim, come here. Do you know who that is? No. Look at him. Look at him. T-shirt, jeans. Is it you? <laughs> I am flattered. That's Johnny Depp. Where'd you take that? In my condo complex. Oh my God, that's right. I read in People Magazine that he was looking for a two-bedroom condo in Scranton. I'm flipping out, man. Well, you remember my idea for the fourth Pirates movie? Sure, that they should do one. Hey, Jim, Jim, where where do I find the Black Pearl? Who's that? Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow, Jim. John Dillinger. No, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Crunch. Crunch Bears. Okay, okay. Screw you, Halpert. You know, it's not easy getting excited about stuff. Remember how you felt when you thought you'd seen Roger Clemens? At the Yankees game. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't him. I had a little better reason to believe that you're right. You're right. Well, you're not right, because Johnny Depp I know. in your condo complex? I know. It also explains why the name on his mailbox was M. Shulman. M. Night Shulman? Oh. 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 OK. Breathe. Uh, Work uh, your core. Uh, Come on. Uh, How many is that? Not counting the last one. 25. Count the last one. OK, 25 and one girl push-up. Oh, new record. OK. Oh, what did you do today? I uh, made a sale. Oh, yeah, sitting on your big fat butt. All right, that is the number to beat. What do we get if we do them? My respect. Okay, I'll make it a little more interesting. Anyone who does more than 25 push-ups... And one girl push-up? ...gets to go home. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What, I say dance, they say how high? Three, <laughs> four, Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. But too high. Disqualified! Ow. What do we got? Creed, disqualified. Oh, come on! 19. Oh. I had a really hard workout this morning. <sighs> Oh, wow, that is adorable. Ten? Yeah. I'm betting one more. Eleven. Wow. Good. Stanley, 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 Stanley. Essentially what we have here is one of those stories where a mother lifts a car to save her baby. Well, it's not exactly fair. He's got all of his weight that's helping him go down. 25! Yeah, yeah, come on, you can do it! Come on, Stanley, let's do it. Come go! on. Go! Go! Wow, are you okay? Are you okay, Stanley? Excuse me. <laughs> Wow. All right, Papa Bear. Buenos dias, Aaron. Buenos dias, Miguel. Hello, Dona Riffa. No, 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 no. Solamente. En español, por favor. I believe that every man, woman, and child in this country should learn how to speak Spanish. They are our neighbors to the south, and this would be a healing thing 
for, for all of North America. And I am going on vacation next week to Cancun. Buenos dias, Jaime. Buenos dias, Miguel. Como esta? Bien? Claro que si. Yo soy fantastico. Que pasa? Ha ha! Buenos dias, Dwight! Guten Tag, Herr Michael. I don't understand why Michael is wasting his time with Spanish. I have it on very good authority that within 20 years, everyone will be speaking German. Or a Chinese-German hybrid. La telefona. El teléfono. Michael is having a hard time with the gender part of Spanish. So I told him to mark everything with the international symbol for gender. And um, I should have been more specific. Your office is full of genitalia. Oh, eso es lo que dice él. That's what he says? Damn it. Ah, Angelo. Angela. Michael. Yo soy Can Con. Ah. Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. In our very limited free time, and with our very limited budget, we went and got a nanny, and then we went out and took a class on a very outmoded and very unnecessary form of communication just so we could talk about you and in front of you. Yep, that's exactly what we did. It all started when Dwight was tapping his foot against the leg of his desk. When I asked him to stop, he said, I will, when you lose the baby weight. Very well. I must have imagined it. I apologize. Detonator. Detonator, where? Michael! Jim? Are you clicking a detonator? It's a pin. Michael, come on. Get back to work, Dwight, please. Fine. <clears throat> hey, tap away. This here is a radon test kit. Okay, I'll be putting them everywhere. And please don't throw these out. This is a radon test kit. Please don't throw these out. See them all over the office. Toby has been leaving radon kits everywhere, like he owns the place. The first time I threw mine away, I thought it was an ant trap. But I figured I'd rather live with ants than with his creepy little disc. The second time, I thought it was one of those, you know, the things you turn over and it moves, like a cow thing. But upon closer examination, it was another ant trap, so I threw it away. And the third time, I did it out of spite. Come on, Michael, you're, you're interrupting. You're kidding me, God! You say right on is silent but deadly, and then you expect me not to make farting noises with my mouth? What is this? Sit down. You know what? We're not going to die of radon. We're going to die of boredom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? And if I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. Oh. That's not. Yeah. Uh, okay. You were All right. really funny and then you went too far. I would kill Bin Laden and then Toby. No. That's it's still... It's still okay, geniuses. How would you do it? Curve the bullet like in my favorite James McAvoy film, uh, Water. All that does is help you shoot around things. What has been locked? Is there a curtain rod in the room? I don't know. How about make believe land as anything you want? Stanley, please, this is serious. Yeah. Is this the thing where they use an icicle so there's no evidence? Yes. We stab Toby through the heart with an icicle. The whole two bullet thing is a red herring. Here's how you do it you line them all up, you take one bullet, shoot them all through the throat at the same time. Watch this. Phyllis, you're Hitler. Come up here. Toby, you're Toby. Andy, you're Bin Laden. Line up. I, I don't want to do Throats this. together. Toby, just do it! Toby, come on. God! Ready? One bullet. And boom! 
Yeah, yeah. that works. That works. There is nothing wrong, nor will there ever be wrong, with any Sabre printers. Case closed. Michael Scott, as seen on TV. I saw you on the news and I want to pinch your tiny wiener. It's Packer. Oh, Pac-Man, I thought you were a girl. Apparently, there are allegations that Sabre printers can cause a fire. So they ask me to give a statement to the press. I'm like, what? All right, so I do it. It's on TV last night and it's in the paper today, and it's online. And then I call Froggy 98.7, their request line. I talk to the host about it on the air. It's like, come on, people, enough. Everybody, we are at DEF CON 5. I am officially the second most watched clip of the day on the WBRE news site. What's number one? Oh, that teacher who was wrongfully accused of being a pedophile. Now, we cannot let the pedophile win again. I would like you all to go to the website and watch my clip 11 times. So instead of working, you yes. want to? Okay. Yes. I know. Come on. He's our manager here. Oh, no, no. Get no. it up. There's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong. That's what, there. There let's do it. Nothing wrong, nor will oh, ever be wrong. did you see this report that the zoo got a baby otter? It's on the same site. Oh, it's kissing its mommy. Oh, Please. Like, oh, you have to see this. It's like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> really? A baby otter? Okay, um, count me in as who cares. It's not even that interesting a baby otter. It can't even stand up. It's trying to stand up. There he goes. 